Coming up next on This Week in Torrance, the police department visits Torrance residents for National Night Out. We'll take you there. Plus, you can get to know your neighbors and then you can map your neighborhood. We'll tell you how. Then the Torrance Theater Company gives you a peek into a pirate's life with their new production. And fun and games and learning for everyone at Summer Park's program. These stories and much more are just seconds away. Your local news starts now. Hello everyone and welcome to This Week in Torrance. I'm Jin Chun. And I'm Ben McCain. Here are your top stories. Auto sales have picked up recently, but those sales are happening to car companies you might not expect. Some American car companies are actually showing signs of recovery. General Motors and Ford have posted gains recently. Sales of GM, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC and Cadillac brands rose 25%. Ford also saw gains, although they are more modest than for other automakers. Their sales rose just 5%. A reason for this success may be timing. July started with a holiday weekend and included five Saturdays, which was good for car shopping. Easing credit conditions for consumers also helped push up sales. Overall, the industry hit an annual selling pace of 12 million vehicles in July. Now that's about 900,000 vehicles above the June rate. Foreign car makers saw a big boost during the Cash for Clunkers program last year, and analysts believe that may be why sales for companies like Honda and Toyota are down this year. Well, then here are some highlights from the most recent city council meeting. The 2010 census numbers have been calculated, and now the Torrance Census Complete Count Committee is being honored for their work. Their mission was to influence every member of the city to complete and return the questionnaire in a timely and accurate manner. Members of the Complete Count Committee helped contribute to the 76% of city residents who submitted their census forms. 74% of South Bay residents participated in the census and 72% of American citizens returned their forms. So as of the beginning of August, according to the Census Bureau, the U.S. population is currently close to 310 million. Well, later, the council named the chairs and members of various city council committees. Council members first chose their committees according to their seniority, then made their selections in reverse order. Council member Bill, Bill Sutherland was also named the city's voting delegate for the 2010 League of California Cities annual conference. Council member Tom Brewer will serve as the voting delegate alternate. And two L.A. County residents received an important recognition from the president recently. Myrtle Faye Rump of Inglewood and Roberta Diaz Brinton of Los Angeles were both honored with the 2010 Citizens Medal. Brinton, Rump, and 11 others were honored for performing exemplary deeds of service outside of their regular jobs. Rump received the medal for her commitment to reducing gun and gang violence in her community. Brinton was devoted, or has devoted her time and talents to improving science and technology education for Los Angeles students. The medal is the second highest honor a civilian can receive. Coming up, before there was the Pirates of the Caribbean, there was the centuries-old musical. After the break, we'll give you a preview of the Torrance Theatre Company's upcoming production. But first, here's the current temperature outside.